Okay, on the next part of our pure stock race car build, we're going to be doing the halo. The halo goes around the driver's compartment, around the roof. This helps protect the driver's head, and it also stiffens the chassis. It triangulates down to the frame. It's basically just a hoop. So here we're doing a 90 degree bend. This is going to go by past the driver's head. There we're using a level to make sure that we get 90 degrees. We had to do a, a slight bend at the end because the tubing bender didn't quite go to 90 degrees. So I'm going to be laying the halo on top of the roll bar and then it's going to have big gussets. This is a little bit easier on this type of race car because it's hard to get in there and weld with the roof on. If we had chosen to cut the roof off, we could do a fish mouth and then fit the tube right to the roll bar. Right here I'm using a level, so we level the bottom of the tube, then I can measure up and make the marks of where I want to cut it to length. And here we're driving it in into place. It was a little bit difficult because the roof curves. So the two edges nestle in right around the, the bends of the roll bar right behind that, that's where the big gussets will be. They'll tie it into the roll bar. There's also a weld that, that holds it in place um, where it's sitting on top of the roll bar. Here now I'm starting to plan the window bar, the window post. So this is going to lay on top of the dash bar. It's not going to be welded directly into it, so we're not going to cut this pipe. We're just going to bend it and bring it down. That way you can stitch those, those door bars together and directly tie down into the frame. It's a lot of fitting to do this because it's a little bit of a complicated angle. You've got the angle at the top. I'm trying to keep this out of the direct line of the, the driver, so I'm mounting it a little bit to the side. So you have a choice. You could go right to the, the corner of that bend on the halo. That would be a bit into the, the driver's line of sight. So whenever I use the plasma cutter to start my, my fish mouth, I always make sure that I grind out all of the, the slag so it doesn't contaminate the weld. There, I put a little bend in, in the, the window post. That way it would bend around and catch that bottom bar a bit. More grinding. Take your time. Make sure that all the joints are, are really nice, especially in this area. And there's also going to be another bar. It's not going to be placed in this video. There's going to be a bar that goes halfway up this window post, kind of like a vent window. This is going to stiffen the, the window post up a little bit and tie it into one of those vertical braces about where my arm is now. You'll see that in a future video. There we go. Finally got it to fit. See it's laying there on the, the dash bar, I'm welding in there stitch that together. That'll get a gusset also. Now it's stitched into this lower door bar. And here I forgot to lock down the tripod so you get a look at the tarp that we threw over the car for a bit. Yeah, here's some gussets that are going in. And put a little vertical brace in here to tie those two bars together and transfer the energy down into the frame a bit more. When we bring brace, uh, braces from the front, it's going to tie more into this. Um, you'll have to, to wait for those videos. There's going to be a lot of triangulation that comes from the front. Here I'm, I'm just tack welding in the uh, bars laying on top of the roll bar there. Uh, we didn't have any material to make the gussets today. And here's some leftover footage. Um, you saw this in a pre pre previous video where we tied 
the door bar, bar down into the frame. I just didn't get this edited out of this video. We still have a bunch of uh, bars to put in, especially around the driver's head and behind the, the seat. So don't worry, there's uh, a lot more bracing to happen around the halo. So that's about it. Um, keep an eye out for the next video. In the next video we'll be doing the passenger side bracing. We're going to do some triangulation and tie the front clip all the way through the car. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, look forward to your comments.